Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own little custom intricate design. So I'm going to start off with this little water marble design, a little paw print, and a puppy face. So what you're going to need is a plastic bag, some nail polish of course, and some tools. I'm going to start off with this water marble look, and then we're going to do the paw and the puppy. As always, start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails, and then you're going to go in on your pointer, middle, and pinky finger, and just add one layer of this milky color, just to give it kind of like a background. So go ahead and quickly do that. So this video actually is dedicated to somebody whom I love very much. My sister asked for a little puppy tutorial, so I hope that you will love it and hopefully it is easy to follow along with. Starting off with the water marble look, um, it's actually very, very simple. You're going to see me use these two colors, a cream and a black, and what you're going to do is you're going to paint um, two stripes of the cream, like so. We'll go ahead and make it thick, nice and thick, and two stripes of the black. And then using, as you saw earlier, either a pointy brush or a dotting tool, you're going to make lines and it's going to make this cool effect. Don't add too much pressure, just slightly because we don't want it to go through and then create gaps. So I've already done some. What happens is once you do this, you need to let them dry overnight to make sure that they are 100% ready to go. And I always add a top coat on top of it. You don't have to though, not with thick ones like this, but as you saw on my example, I did. So then I apply a base coat, I don't know if it's a base coat or a top coat that you should add, but a base coat worked for me. So you apply the base coat onto your bare nails, and then you apply the nail decal that you have let dry overnight, that is very, very important. If it's not completely dry, this will not work. Stick it onto your nail, and you know, I mean, what's next? The usual, the cleanup process. So I suggest, um, actually using tiny little scissors to clip uh, around it to see, let's see, for example, if you know your nail size, you could try to clip it smaller or cut it, not clip it. <laughs> you could try to cut it smaller so that the cleanup process is easier. But if you're like me, just dab it on and um, go ahead and wipe all around your nail. So this might take a little bit of extra time. Here it's taking me a long time because I'm actually doing it with doing it with my left hand, but that's what is so great about these nail decals is that when you have such an intricate design like this one, it's amazing because you create the intricate design with your dominant hand, for me my right hand, and all you have to do is place it onto your left hand so it will look perfect and it will actually match your right hand. You'll never have to worry about your left hand or right hand if you're lefty looking messy. So go ahead and clean up around that um, with nail polish remover. Just dissolve the edges until you get it completely onto your nail like so. Next, we're going to go in and do the puppy. So I did a French bulldog because I thought it was so cute. And then afterwards, I'm going to be showing you how to do the puppy paw prints. As you can see, I did a few here. Those are very, very easy to do. Starting with the French bulldog, we use that same cream color. I'm trying to keep the color scheme. And you're going to make kind of like a little bean. So this is going to be his muzzle, his mouth. And then afterwards, you're going to take that same nail striper, or nail, whatever you want to call it, nail art brush, and you're going to make kind of like a little C or a rainbow on top of it, but make sure that it's not smaller than the muzzle, that it stays um, within the same side width, I guess. And then for the ears, you make two little horns, but just make sure that they're not pointy and rounded at the top. Then go ahead and fill in your design. Again, don't be afraid to make it thick. And then add the little chin at the very bottom. I made a bigger design so that you can see um, for those who have a hard time seeing the smaller one. Next, for the black, very easy. You're going to completely fill in one ear, whatever side you choose. Then the next step, you will use the opposite side to fill in the eye, I guess. It's not necessarily the eye, but it's what would be surrounding the eye. So make sure you do it above the muzzle 
and on the opposite side of the ear, uh, the black ear, the first one that you painted. Then you're going to take a striper and you're going to fill in the chin and you're going to create a little dot for the nose and a little dot for the eyeball. For the nose, make sure to kind of elongate your dot so it's more of an oval and not a perfect circle. Um, and for this one, it actually ended up being like a little heart, which looked perfect. Um, so yeah. Then you're going to take your nail striper, create a line connecting the nose and the chin. And then for the eyes, you're going to make one big white dot and then the little black pupil over it. And that's it for the French Bulldog. Now for the paw, you start off the same way, making the bean, the little bean. And then you're going to create four little dots. You can do this with a nail art brush, which makes the ends point here. Or if you want circle little dots for the paws, you can just use a nail dotting tool. And the application process is exactly the same. Put on your base coat, peel off your um, nail decal, and just glue it on. That's it. Or stick it on because the glue would be your base coat <laughs> anyways you guys understand that is it for the design make sure you add a top coat and i mean these nails are super super cute the design looks super complicated but it's a hundred times easier since we did use the decals i hope that you guys love this tutorial and i will see you next week with a brand new one Mwah! thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe